Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Motivational Mondays. Today, we're going to be talking about challenging yourself. Literally. And, um, you know, when it comes to challenging yourself, again, you can take it two ways. You know, either A, you're challenging yourself or the universe is challenging you and you're going to take this shit head on or not. You know what I mean? Again, it's always about how you look at things so I was just leaving Walmart right now with my hands full of stuff as always and I said to myself man you know what this feels like right there's like another motivational Monday video coming right up and um, what was the topic of today well again we're talking about challenging yourself and uh, we're not talking about we're not gonna be talking about how you might be challenged Look at that car look at how beautiful that car that green car there is that's awesome anyways so today's episode we're not going to be talking about um how the world challenges you you know challenges you and how you deal with that shit because you know what we made plenty of videos about that and we talk about that shit all the time about you know controlling yourself and uh letting go of uh not being able to control other things that you cannot control so today we're literally going to be talking about what you can control and uh, the main topic of uh, what you can control um, will be, again, uh, challenging yourself. And uh, why you need to challenge yourself. So look, for example, I'm carrying this heavy stuff. One hand with the camera, one hand with the heavy stuff. We're going to be switching it back and forth. And what are we going to do? We're, well, first of all, we're doing cardio today. We're walking. We're walking. We're talking. Trying to keep our breath. And at the same time, we're also to see if we can do a little, you know what I mean? So when I'm walking, I'm just like, just, just carrying this shit like this, you know what I mean? No, I try to keep it like this, you know? And if it, once it gets too heavy, switch arms. And what am I doing? Well, you already know what I'm doing. I'm building some muscle. I'm not um, being a lazy fuck. I'm what? I'm challenging myself. And that goes with everything, literally. So as you know, this episode is a little harder than usual because I only have one hand available and um, I got to be switching off and I got I'm carrying so much other shit behind my back here and so on and so forth but what do I decide to do should, do I take the easy route and say to myself oh well now I can put the camera down and I can put my uh, my music on and just ride the wave all the way home but I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, again, challenge myself, create a video out of this, and uh, use it as a motivational Monday. Use it as a motivational tool. Because, again, when you, char when you, ch when you challenge yourself on a regular basis, and I'm not just talking about walking with a bunch of crap and trying to juggle all that shit, even though that is a pretty awesome metaphor for life. Um, the reason you got to challenge yourself is, first of all, that's how you fucking grow all right sometimes life gives you difficulty and sometimes you grow from it sometimes you don't because it's just depending on how that hits you but one thing that you can control is the challenge that you put up on yourself so whether you're doing a workout routine whether you want to start a business whether you want to move whatever the fuck it is you want to do out there you can do it but you have to do it okay you got to challenge yourself you got to create the, the you know the, the the environment for your own personal growth and uh, you know challenges are very different for everybody they just really are um, what might be a challenge to me might not be a challenge to you and vice versa so that's why when it comes to this when it comes to this stuff you got to be able to figure out what is going to be your challenge and what are you going to do about it are you going to confront it head on or are you going to keep running away from it and so, you know, again, this is what we're talking about here because I'm being very vague because there's so many instances in which, um, you know, this uh, particular video, this particular motivational message can be, uh, can be used for. I was gonna say, I, I, I was wondering what the hell that was, but now we see. See, we got them everywhere, guys. All right, just uh, FYI, they're everywhere. Um, it's just that they're more, you know, you see them more in other places. All right. 
So, man, it's hot. It's hot and this is heavy. Definitely a challenge. So we're gonna stop over here for a minute. By the way, it's extra heavy. I have a lot of heavy shit today. A lot of times these things start off good and then you realize you bit off more than you can chew. But that adds to my second point is that even when you bite off more than you can chew, if you eventually chew it down, if you eventually work with it, guess what? You know, it's gonna pay off immensely. It's like anything else. It's just like uh, when you're when you're working out. Oh, see, look, challenge another challenge. Bag broke. What are we gonna do here? No, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put the camera down while I still film. I'm gonna figure out how to wrap this shit around my arm. And we're gonna keep going. That's what we're gonna do. So. When it comes to challenging yourself, again, the more, you, the more, you, sometimes you bite off more than you can chew. Like I bit off more than I can chew right now, literally. But at the end of the day, if you if you get through it, it's gonna be an even bigger payoff. It just is gonna be a bigger payoff because, again, as I'm challenging myself with this, you know, I'm realizing that I'm gonna build a little more extra muscle. Um, I'm making a pretty good video because I'm challenging myself. Um, I'm constantly building stamina and building strength and building uh, fortitude, you know, internal fortitude and doing all kinds of things. So when you constantly challenge yourself and you are in control of said challenge, well, then guess what? You are constantly in control of your own growth, in control of your own uh, universe, in control of everything. And you're never going to stay stagnant because you're constantly growing one way or the other. I mean, even if you challenge yourself and fail miserably, that's still, it's still a win. As hard as that might be to, to comprehend or whatever. By the way, look, that's my Brinks truck backing up. They're about to bring that to my crib. Yeah, I wish, right? But again, Back to that challenge, you know, back to challenging yourself and what it really means to constantly challenge yourself. When you're constantly challenge, challenge yourself, you know, th th those are, that's what winners are made out of, all right? It's as simple as that. Because you know what? Life is always going to be challenging you. Life is always going to be fucking kicking you in the face. Life is always going to be... Hola, como esta? Todo bien? Okay. And again, it's all about that challenge. See, look, that guy was just giving me that fucking evil stare down. Um, you know, looking at me weird, you know? So I said, hi, what's up to him? And all of a sudden, like, you know, he said hi and he fucking walked away. And that's it, you know? Now I put the challenge onto him. You know, it might have seemed like, you know, that individual might have been challenging me from afar, but again, it might, I might be, be too aggressive. He might have just been looking at me, you know, like in a, in a curious fashion, but I'm not gonna take that chance, no matter what. At the end of the day, um, it's all about that the challenge you know all we're talking about is challenge that's the word of the day and um, this thing is slipping from my arms <laughs> but the point is let's see if I can make it let's see if I can make it to the shade I can make it to this bench but I got one more bench with a shade is it gonna be worth am I gonna be able to make it if I make it it's worth it because I'll be able to fix this under the shade we got it all right Oof. anyways but just going back to that individual that was giving me that weird ass stare down. Again, I'm the, I'm, he's the, no one's gonna put a challenge on me if I can control it. So, he was giving me a weird ass stare. I looked at him, he was still staring at me. So, and I just literally said, hey, what's up, bro? How's it going? See, you know, like that, and that was enough. And it's all about that mentality that you have the control of everything. If all of a sudden, I would have been scared of that situation, of that individual right there, that could have turned the other way, and it could have easily turned the other way. I don't know who the fuck that was, or what he was thinking, or what anything it is. But I, don't, I do know who I am. I do know what I'm thinking. I do know a bunch of other things. And it's being able to use what you have, 
okay as a you know as an advantage for you to proceed with these challenges or whatever you know the whatever life throws at you and um, when you start challenging yourself and throwing these things at yourself to make yourself grow to make yourself better to make yourself um, you know I'm um, just constantly challenging yourself you know to constantly uh, push yourself forward when you do that all of a sudden when life starts throwing you things it's not as hard it's not as difficult and why is that well again you know because you're throwing at yourself things that are way more difficult than anything life can throw at you so when life starts throwing you things be able to fucking handle it not, not just handle it knock it out of the fucking park and that's the whole that's the whole key all right it's not just it's not about getting through this shit it's not about just pushing through another day or pushing through another week nah man nah man that's that's loser talk all right that's fucking loser talk all right if you are not happy with your situation you should be doing something about it now again there's all levels of how you're going to be able to do these things but um in the end you're you're in control look i was just reading a comment from last week that was literally telling me hey i'm in my shitty job in my shitty in, in my, uh, situation everything's shitty 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 but thanks to you and thanks to the videos that you make it gives me hope that i'll be able to get the fuck out and again even that is doing something all right he is changing his mindset he is constantly you know putting it out there that he's not going to be in that situation for a long time he's taking many steps in order to get out of this situation one of the steps is watching not just my videos but other people's videos talking about these things in order in order to find to get to that from point a to point b because again i didn't fucking i didn't just wake up with all this fucking knowledge it took a, it took a long ass fucking time for me to get here and i'm still growing i'm still learning i'm still i don't know nothing i don't know jack shit that's the truth in fact and I, I know so little i can't i can barely carry my fucking bags home actually i'm switching over oh look look now this thing broke man today is uh let's just challenge jose to the to the brink Let's, let's, everything's breaking down around me, but is that gonna fucking, is that gonna bring me down? Is that gonna stop me? No, of course not. Even if it does stop me, it's only temporary. Again, look at this. My thing broke, my other thing broke. I'm sweating balls. It's hot. Literally, this is like the hottest point of the day right now. And yet, what am I doing? I'm making it worse by not stopping for a second to see if I can fix this. Let me see if I can Let me hang this here for a minute. I think you guys can see me there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fucking deal with this real quick. See if we can put this thing back in its hole. That's what she said. And continue forward. Now, Again, so this is why you gotta constantly challenge yourself. Because, as you can see, life is challenging the fuck out of me right now. Why is it not challenging my patience? Because my patience has already been to, you know, taken to the brink and back. That's why I got a lot of patience now. As opposed to old Jose, one you guys never met or heard or, or know, which had no patience and would be miserable right now and really upset and all that other shit that comes with that. But because life is challenging me before, I have challenged myself and so on and so forth. Look how easily I'm, I'm dealing with all these fucking challenges. I haven't broken stride. We're still talking about it and yet it's all good in the neighborhood. It really is. And I know I'm making it easy. I'm making it look easy because you guys are probably uh, watching this on the other side of the screen in an air conditioned room, you know, chilling like a villain. And I'm out here, you know, going through hell, which I'm not, by the way, this is easy. 
is really easy. But in the past, in, in the past, this would have been kind of like hell. I mean, seriously, but it's not. It's, it's actually uh, fun. And in fact, all part of the universe, all part of how everything works. So for example, I'm making a video on challenges and blah, blah, blah. And look how everything just magically falls into place. You feel me? And, and that's it, man. It's about knowing who you are, knowing what you want, know where you're going, and, and all that shit. And, uh, and when you challenge yourself, again, this is why I bring up the working out. So guys, like I was saying before the camera turned off again, um, and uh, we had a heat situation there. All right, let me see, make sure we're recording there. All right. So again, just to reiterate exactly everything I was saying, it's all about challenging yourself. I always talk about control and being in control. But the best way that you can totally be in control is by constantly challenging yourself. And then you have the ultimate power, you know, the ultimate word, the ultimate say in all this stuff. I mean, it's as simple as that. Because I've been able to challenge myself on top of the already challenges that I face all the fucking time. Um, I'm able to build an even stronger base upon myself so that it's, it's very rare for me to be out of it. You get what I'm saying? It's very rare for life to kick me in the face or ball so hard that I'm out of commission. Because... Again, not only am I used to taking all the hits that life has to give me, but I myself are, I'm, not, I'm constantly always challenging myself. But why, again, just because of the <coughs> mental fortitude that it helps build. It's as simple as that, guys. And um, that's what today's Monday Motivation is literally all about. As I'm sitting here putting away my freaking groceries for you guys, this is all part of the challenge. Again, you know, the camera turned off about a block away from the house. You know, at that point, I was like, well, I can't turn the camera on anymore. So what am I going to do? It's like, well, well, I'm just thinking to myself, oh, I know what I'll do, which is what you're watching now. And how, and how is this going to pay off? Well, you already know how it's going to pay off. This is pretty good content. I made a pretty good video today. I haven't even edited this thing yet, and I already know it's going to be a good video. Now watch this video get absolutely zero views and shit, you know, man, get like a, like a, just a couple views, but that's not the point, man, that's not the point. I, I make these for you guys, but I also make them for myself, so it's all about that. By the way, look, there's a little guayaba, a little guava, so I, I don't, I mean, I eat these, but I also buy them because, God, it smells so good. I know, unrelated to what the fuck we're talking about here, but... So what I do is I literally just put this somewhere in my around here in the kitchen and it just makes everything smell so good. Like guayaba, man. Oh my God, it's one of my favorites. I'm Cuban, we eat a lot of fucking guayabas, FYI. But anyways, it's just, again, it's all about challenging yourself. And every time that you challenge yourself, you surprise yourself with awesomeness. I'm telling you, it's always the same thing, no matter how you challenge yourself. But the only way you can ever find any of that out is by actually doing it. And how are you gonna get to that mental state where you're gonna be challenging yourself? Well, very easily. You gotta be able to be, you gotta be able to deal with li what life gives you. You gotta be able to already be able to deal with the, the, the difficulties that life throws at you. Once you're able to do that and you can laugh in the face of horribleness, you know, the life, laugh in the face of uh, all these challenges that life throws at you, then at that point, it's a lot easier for you to start challenging yourself because that's, it. I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe it's also me and like the whole old Gary Vee-ism where it's like, it's I'm addicted to losing. And it's not that I'm addicted to losing. It's all about the challenge. It's all about seeing what I can do, how much further I can push myself, how much further I can push this, how much further I can go, what else I can do, and so on and so forth. And I'm telling you, it surprises me all the fucking time. All the time, all the time. I mean, and, and, and after, after a while, it becomes extremely, after a while, it becomes incredibly addicting. And, and it's, it's just, uh, 
again, it's just a cycle. You know, I talk about cycles all the time. It's always, it's about these cycles that life is always, you know, put, you know, going, it's, it's all about these cycles that life is always going through. And it's just how you deal with it. You know what I mean? How you deal with these things. So again, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm ending this video pretty much here. And uh, I'm just going to come up, you know, full circle and just uh, do a little synopsis as I always do. Well, first of all, let's let's uh, let's go over the Spanish word of the day. So today is challenge. You know what I mean? We're challenging ourselves. We are pushing ourselves. So how do you say challenge in Spanish? Actually, I don't even fucking know. I know, um, man. See, now I, I've challenged myself so much. I have. I have I have put myself in a corner. I, I painted myself in a corner. How do you say challenge in Spanish? All right, hold on. Let me Google this shit. It's funny. It says challenge is el reto. It, so R E T O R E T O el reto. So it was quite a challenge to climb that mountain. Supuso un gran reto escalar la montaña. You know, it's fucking funny. As I'm reading this, I'm realizing, like, damn, how come... I mean, I've heard that word a few times here and there, but it's like, how come it's not, like, a major... You know, how come... You know, you see, you hear challenge all the fucking time in English, but you very rarely hear it in Spanish. I mean, I, I speak Spanish all the time, and I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily hear it all the time. And, you know, I was just thinking out loud and thinking to myself, like, you know what? I think it's because we, as Hispanics, are already fucking used to living in a world, in a universe, in a life that is just a challenge. We understand that life is a challenge. Everything is a challenge. The whole fucking thing is challenging. You know, we challenge ourselves. You know, we're, it's, 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 that's why it's not even like a thing. It's like, when you're looking at it, you know, in English, in the, from, from the English perspective, it's like, oh, it's a challenge. Everything is so difficult. Everything is uh, blah, blah, blah. But again, just looking at it from the Spanish perspective, it's like, well, that's life. That's just life, you know? And, like, I guess that's why maybe for me, maybe for others out there, it's a lot easier to deal with these situations because, I don't know, we were, it was kind of like our, we were bred this way. We were, we were raised this way. And when you don't know of any other way, it makes it a lot easier. But, it, again, you know, just to go come, you know, to back when I was younger, not really. Not really, you know what I mean? I remember a time when I was younger where, Life was fucking hell and pure difficulty, but it wasn't until I took it upon myself to not only take on the challenge of life, but to literally challenge myself every single fucking day. And I continue to do so until I'm dead. And why? Because that's what's keeping me alive. And I feel like that is really what keeps a lot of motherfuckers alive. And you know how that whole thing is like, the minute that somebody retires is that's when they start dying. Well, that's because that challenge is finally over. Life is, is essentially over. So, you know, just to come again full circle, I think that's going to be my new uh, fucking catchphrase. Go full circle. Um, don't ever stop challenging yourself. And if you don't challenge yourself, start challenging yourself in whatever form that may be. But just start doing it. Trust me, okay? When it comes to working out, it's it's working out is uh, is is a whole full full body thing. Okay, you got to work out your mind, not just your body, but you got to just work out everything. Okay, and that's where the challenge comes in. Okay, it's literally never stopping the growth in every aspect of your life. The more difficult it seems, the more you got to do it. Okay, the less you are equipped. To fucking take on a challenge the more you got to take on that challenge and so on and so forth okay do not be your own weakest link okay be your strongest link all right now i'm starting not to make sense i'm starting to overheat myself it's not just the camera i need water i'm thirsty i gotta fucking finish up here as you guys can see i'm sweating balls it is what it is it's hot it's humid but hey guess what i fucking love you guys and you guys are awesome. And don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon so you know when I'm dropping these videos. Thank you to all my patrons. If you want to help contribute to this whole package and help feed a feed a horse and help me feed Lambo, you already know what to do. You know, um, Patreon. You know, go to Patreon. The, the donation links are at the bottom. You guys can do all that stuff and then some. And as I was talking to you guys earlier, or I don't know if you guys have heard it yet or not, but I am going to start. 
um, uh, a new online store real soon. Stay tuned for details. And I'm gonna be selling all kinds of stuff, not just merchandise from my from my channel and and all the. All right, I'm coming to you straight from my freezer because as you guys already know, that shit got cut off again. But anyways, long story short, just stay tuned for the store. I'm gonna be selling all kinds of things in that store. Ice, no, no, <laughs> I'm gonna be selling all art. I'm gonna be selling um, just a billion fucking things, okay? Um, things that have to do with um, my business. All right, guys, as you guys can tell, the camera shut off one last time. So now I'm coming to you live from my freezer and I think I'm gonna start shooting from here from now on. But I just wanted to say one last thing. Stay tuned to all the things that are coming up on this channel, especially the store that I was just talking about and everything else in between. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today on this awesome Motivational Monday. It was definitely a lot of fun to film. All of it, all the way up until now. I hope you fucking made it all the way through. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and I'll see you motherfuckers tomorrow. Have an awesome, awesome Monday and an awesome start to your week. Peace. I, mean, I think I think young kids are getting tricked right now and think just because it's a technology boom and just because they understand it that they have this great advantage over 45 year old executors. It's audacity, which I love. Channeled properly, it gives them the lack of fear to do things. So I really don't talk a lot about it because I don't want to stop it because I think it's their greatest gift as well. But I think it's patience, I think it's lack of experience and the biggest one is lack of talent. Every young kid thinks they're entitled to be an entrepreneur now. It's the cool thing. Truth is, it's not gonna work out. Like, it just isn't, the math doesn't work out. Like, 98% of the people that are starting startups are gonna lose. And again, the reason I started with the economic, like, the economic growth of the globe is keeping a fake entrepreneur alive. Most of your friends that in their 20s that have businesses aren't actually making money if they're in tech. They've raised capital and they're losing money every month. That's ultimately something that doesn't work out.